Maximizing Sustainable Impact. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 553. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of One Community Global, and this is our October 23rd, 2023 edition of our Weekly Progress Update. And today what I want to talk about is maximizing sustainable impact. And the reason why I want to talk about that is because at this point in humanity's story, we don't need any more reasons. We don't need more research to show us why we need to maximize sustainable impact and why we need to shift to a sustainable civilization, a sustainable culture. Like... There's so many reasons. It's so painfully obvious right now if we're paying attention to what's going on and how we're living and what we're doing to ecosystems and what we're doing to our food quality and what we're doing to our water quality. The other day, they just within this last week, I read an article about how they found plastic particles in a cave that had been untouched by human beings. Like it was an isolated cave and plastic has permeated our environment so much that even there they were able to find plastic particles in remote places in Antarctica. And this is just, this is just talking about pollution and the fact that we're intaking these things into our body. You know, look at the quality of food that we're eating nowadays and how that has degraded. Look at our soil quality and how that's degraded. Look at how much poison we spray on our food. Look at our, our building environments and how many toxic materials are being used in our building environments. It doesn't have to be this way. You know, you look at right now the conflict that's going on in the world over resources when there is enough resources on this planet to meet the needs of everybody. If we were to sufficiently meet our needs such that we were willing to share those because there is enough. You know, if we look at the quality of education that's happening nowadays, we look at the lack of energy infrastructure and internet access that's happening in many countries. We look at food insecurity and homelessness, all of these issues, so many areas that would benefit from sustainable infrastructure and sustainable lifestyles, and more importantly, creating environments that so, so exceed the needs of the people living within those environments and developed and designed to be able to help other people and to share and create solutions such that people can invest their time and their energy in those things, at least this is what we're passionate about, so creating a place where people that are passionate about world change and making a difference and creating a world that works for everybody can come together and do that. Make that our lifestyle. Make that what we're sharing. Make that our offering to the world because our environment meets our needs and provides the space for us to do that most effectively. And not only that, but creating that space such that it's designed to thrive and succeed and maximize its abundance. The more we share that, the more we export that, the more we open source and free share that, the more creative we are and giving away what it is that we're doing, helping others to implement what we're doing, and the more fun and enjoyable and amazing the environment is to live in such that other people want to reproduce it. And so we talk about making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own and thus maximizing our sustainable impact by creating that self-replicating model. And so one community is creating all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions to be able to do this through open source and free sharing the foundations for physical sustainability as well as emotional sustainability. The physical foundations everyone knows about. Sustainable food, energy and housing like these are the survival needs for most people but arguably equally important we are addressing the emotional foundations of sustainability that make living in an environment like this so amazing and those emotional foundations that we've identified as most important and are what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living or social architecture education economics 
and stewardship, like how to manage and maintain and share all of this so that the world can participate, so that everybody has access, that we can evolve, we can crowdsource the evolution of it, the improvement of it all, and sharing it all with the world so that we can create more and more options for people to participate that want to, so that we can create a model of, of eco-living, sustainable living that is applicable to any environment, that is available to anybody that wants to participate, and that answers all the questions that people need answered to feel comfortable replicating something like this, including what is it going to look like when it's done? One community to be a living example of that, the prototype that we're designing to build first, but how to do it. You know, what are the step-by-step -step processes and instructions to implement the food, the energy, the housing, as well as the social architecture, the education models, the economic models, and the stewardship, all of that. How do we implement that? How much is it going to cost? How much labor is it going to take? What is the end result? What are the problems that we ran into and how did we solve those problems? And where do you go if you ran into problems that we haven't solved or that we didn't address? Like, How do you get those answered? How do we create a global cooperative and collaborative of people working together on these issues to solve them for everybody, for humanity as a whole? That's what we're doing. And so maximizing sustainable impact for us is access. It's about easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. It's about tapping into the global desire for this right now. It's about recognizing that we no longer need to put time and energy into research. Why? Why it's needed. Enough of that has been done. The reasons are, I mean, it's going to continue. There's, the research will continue to come out. So that's great. That's not our focus. Our focus is on solutions, creating solutions that are implementable by regular people with average means that could be applied globally. And so this is our idea for maximizing sustainable impact. And we just continue to watch as study after study comes out about the destruction of ecosystems, about the, the decrease in the quality of our air and our water and our food, all these different things and, you know, a solution exists and a solution is being developed that can be implemented anywhere in the world with step-by-step -step instructions and that solution is called one community and that's what we're creating that's what we're open sourcing that's what we're free sharing we're an all-volunteer organization doing this if you'd like to see exactly what we're accomplishing every single week our over 100 person team what we've accomplished in just the last week visit our weekly progress update blog we just every single week we publish exactly what it is that we're accomplishing I'd like to see the step by step plans all the open source resources over 300,000 hours of work and time and energy that's been put in the development process so far visit our website it's broken down into each of the components you can see the food the energy the housing each one of the components that we're developing you can see what's going on there in each one of those areas if you like a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox like, subscribe for YouTube, or visit our website and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. And uh, if you'd like to help, visit our helping page. And uh, if you like the easiest way to help, like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for following our progress. Stick around for a couple more minutes. If you'd like to see major all the bullet points on all the major components of our progress, and we will, of course, keep on maximizing sustainable impact every single day with every action that we're doing, creating open source plans. Thanks for following our progress. We will, of course, keep on. Keep it on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, 
and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.